doing good. Uh, I like the weather here. It's uh, in Canada. It was always cold, so I grew up having to wear shorts and t-shirts no matter what the weather. I'm just more comfortable, so I don't mind the weather. This isn't isn't that bad at all, to be honest. to hear about or see about the uh, airports and highways we're always on and traveling to the next town or traveling to the venue uh, those days are tough and then you got to keep up with gym schedules like uh, this morning I woke up at 4 to take a train to the gym so I could get to it before getting to the airport and, uh, it's definitely it definitely takes its toll on you but I don't think I'd change anything for for anything in the world you know, this is what I always wanted to do since I was a young kid. And you were born in Canada. Right? Yeah, I was born in uh, Toronto, which is, you know, main city of Ontario. Uh, now I reside in the States because my wife's from St. Louis. But, uh, you know, I always like to get back to Canada and stuff where my roots are, where my family is. Plus, I gotta make sure my son Jax likes all the Canadian sports teams, not the St. Louis sports teams. So we gotta we gotta convert him to a Blue Jays fan, not a Cardinals fan. This is your second G1 series. Yes, yes, it is my second G1 series. Uh, as I said, last year was actually my debut for New Japan uh, during the G1. So. Uh, I'm excited for it, you know, I think uh, I think it definitely had a positive effect on my career and you know, now I sit here with a two-year contract with New Japan and I'm an Intercontinental Champion, so uh, as I said, you know, this was uh, this was always the goal. My main focus in wrestling was the, to wrestle in Japan for, for New Japan. And now that I'm here, you know, I wouldn't change any path I took, but uh, I'm glad that when the first group of Ring of Honor guys came over to New Japan, I wasn't part of that just because I got the opportunity to come over here not for just one show, but for an entire tour. And the tour, like the G1 series, is, you know, it's long, it's four weeks, and I'm looking to make history this year. You know, uh, being not only a wrestler, but a fan of, of New Japan Pro Wrestling, I know that no other foreigner has ever won the G1. And uh, to be the first, that would be huge, you know. I was lucky enough to be in the first ladder match in New Japan history. I was lucky enough to be the winner of that match. And uh, the more I can put myself in the history books, then I cement a legacy here in Japan, and that's what I really want, you know. So you've been, been in, on the road and go to many cities in Japan? Yeah, yeah, I've been really lucky, you know. I've, uh, I love every city that I've been to, every culture, all the food. It's, uh, it's fantastic. I, I tell my wife all the time that if the offer was to move to Japan, I would ask her and, and Jax to definitely move out here just because I love it so much. Uh, there hasn't been an instance where I've been uh, wanting to go home for, other than the fact to see my family, of course, but like I, everything out here is great. The food's great, the culture's great, the people are great, the wrestling's great, the fans are great. Uh, it's, it's definitely my favorite place I've been to. sending a message to uh, the wife and, and baby are going to sleep so just making sure I say goodnight and keep up with them because I didn't get to Skype with them this morning because I went to the gym before before we went to the airport so
year uh, when we came up, the first night we went out for uh, crab. Oh, it was so good. What's your favorite Japanese food? Maybe yakiniki. Yeah, probably. Uh, I like sushi though and sushimi, but uh, anything that's lots of meat, I typically typically enjoy eating. Shabu shabu is good too, but yakiniki, the meat's just a little better. But always too, a lot of food in Japan I like. So every meal is a lot. There's, you know, at least the amount of time all you can eat, so get pretty full. Also, it seems like uh, food's a lot healthier in Japan. Everything tastes just, I don't know, tastes better and you always feel good after a meal in Japan, whereas sometimes in the States, the food doesn't seem like it's all that great, you know? So.